Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. So the Most High God wants me to explain the day of wrath to you. And the message is really harsh. So let not your heart be troubled, but please take it up with fasting and praying with God. But he does have a message for the righteous in this. But this is basically about the wicked and what he is going to be doing and that he is very angry with the wicked. Um, you know, they provoke God to anger every day. And God has had enough of these wicked people. And he's going to show his arm um, with an earthquake and devouring fire. So I'm just going to get into the scriptures, what God wants me to read to you and explain to you what's going to happen with the wicked and what's going to happen with the righteous. Because he's going to preserve the righteous even if he has to burn the wicked by fire and protect them. So I'm going to read everything God wants me to read to you and read the scriptures for the righteous to uplift their heart and for them not to be troubled. So please bear with me. We're going to go through a few, a lot of scriptures, but it's all worth you understanding what God is trying to explain to you. So I'm going to start with Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day comes that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Okay, so we're going to go to the scriptures where he's talking about, or with reference again, that God's going to burn them to stubble. Isaiah 47 and 14. Behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, no, nor fire to set before it. Now, I'm going to go to Nephi, 1 Nephi 22, so you understand what God's doing. And I'm going to start at 1 Nephi 22 and 11. Wherefore, the Lord God will proceed to make bare his arm in all the eyes of the nations, in bringing about his covenant and his gospel unto all those who are of the house of Israel. Wherefore, he will bring them again out of captivity, and they shall be gathered together to the lands of their inheritance. And they shall be brought out of obscurity and out of darkness, and they shall know that the Lord is their Savior and their Redeemer, the Mighty One of Israel. And the blood of the great and abominable church, which is the whore of all the earth, shall turn upon their own heads, for they shall war among themselves, and the sword of their own hand shall fall upon their own heads, and they shall be drunken with their own blood. And every nation that shall war against the O house of Israel shall be turned one against another, and they shall fall into the pit which they dig to ensnare the people of the Lord. And all that fight against Zion, daughter Zion, shall be destroyed. And the great, the, that great whore, because the great whore is the one who fights against daughter Zion, who has perverted the right ways of the Lord. Yeah, the great and abominable church shall tumble to the dust, and great shall be the fall of it. For behold, says the prophet, the time comes speedily that Satan shall have no more power over the hearts of the children of men. For the day soon comes that all the proud and they that do wickedly shall be as stubble. So this is another part telling you they're going to be as stubble. All right. And the day comes that they must be burnt. For the time soon comes that the fullness of the wrath of God. So we're going to talk about the day of wrath. This is it shall be poured out upon all the children of men, for he will not suffer that the wicked should destroy the righteous. So God is not going to suffer that the wicked shall destroy the righteous. Wherefore, he will preserve the righteous by his power. So God's going to preserve the righteous by his power. No, Not one hair of their head is going to be burned. They'll go through the fire and it's not going to burn them. He's going to do this. He's going to preserve the righteous by his power, even if it so be that the fullness of his wrath, this day of wrath, must come and the righteous be preserved even unto the destruction of their enemies by fire. So God is going to preserve the righteous by his power, 
even if it brings destruction to their enemies by fire. So remember back then, uh, a few, maybe a couple months ago, God made me tell you there's different days, the day of his anger, the day of his wrath, the day of his shaking. Those are different days. Now he wants me to go into the day of wrath deeper. Wherefore, the righteous need not fear. So righteous people don't need to fear this. For thus says the prophet, they shall be saved, even if it so be as by fire. Even God burning their enemies, God's going to preserve them. Behold, my brethren, I say unto you that these things must shortly come. Yeah, even blood and fire and vapor of smoke must come. And it must need be upon the face of the, this earth. And it comes unto men according to the flesh. If it so be that they will harden their hearts against the Holy One of Israel. For behold, the righteous shall not perish, for the time surely must come that all they who fight against Zion shall be cut off. Now, going back to burning a stubble, right? So, Isaiah 33 and 11, you shall conceive shaft, you shall bring forth stubble, your breath as fire shall devour you. And Jeremiah 13 and 24, therefore I will scatter them as stubble that pass away by the wind of the wilderness. Now we're going to go to Nephi, the third book of Nephi 25 and 1. For behold, the day comes that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yet yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day comes that shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Now, again, in Nephi, the second book of Nephi 26 and, 4, 26 and 4, wherefore all those who are proud and all that do wickedly, the day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, for they shall be as stubble. And in 2 Nephi 15 and 24, therefore, as the fire devours the stubble and the flame consumes the shaft, their root shall be rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. So we're going to go into Doctrine and Covenants quickly because he wants me to go into it and read these Greek scriptures. And then we're going to go into some notes about the Day of Wrath. So bear with me because this is um, it's, it's a harsh message, but... God is going to save the righteous, so you need to know this. Doctrine and Covenant 64 and 24. For after the, today comes the burning, this is speaking after the manner of the Lord. For verily I say, tomorrow all the proud and all that do wickedly shall be as stubble, and I will burn them up. For I am the Lord of hosts, and I will not spare any that remain in Babylon. Then we're going to go into the scriptures that is wrath. We're going to go right back. Give me one second. Okay. Doctrine and Covenants 133 and 64. And also that which was written by the prophet Malachi. What I read for you, Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day comes that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of that they shall leave them neither root nor branch. And now Doctrine and Covenants 29 and 9. For the hour is nigh, and the day soon at hand, when the earth is ripe, and all the proud and all that do wickedly shall be as stubble, and I will burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that wickedness shall not be upon the earth. Now, Doctrine and Covenants 29 and 21, And the great and abominable church, which is the whore of all the earth, shall be cast down by devouring fire, according as it is spoken by the mouth of Ezekiel the prophet, who spoke of these things which have not come to pass, but surely must, as I live, for abomination shall not reign. And Doctrine and Covenants 86 and 3. And after they have fallen asleep, the great persecutor of the church, the apostate, the whore, even Babylon, that makes all nations to drink of her cup, in whose hearts the enemy, even Satan, sits to reign. Behold, he sows the tears, wherefore the tears choke the wheat and drive the church into the wilderness. So God wants you to know they're going to be fuel for the fire. Um, not read it. 
Ezekiel 15 and 4, Behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel. The fire devours both ends of it, and the midst of it is burned. It is, is it meat for any work? And then Isaiah 9 and 5, For every battle of the warrior is with, with confused noise, and the garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. And as Isaiah 9 and 19, Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts, the day of wrath, is the land darkened, and the people shall be as fuel of the fire. No man shall spare his brother. Now, what is God going to do on his wrath? He's going to burn daughter Babylon, the whore. Revelation 17 and 16. The ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and they shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Right? That great and abominable church, which is the whore of all the earth, shall be cast down by devouring fire. Now, we're going to go in it. Revelation 6 and 17. For the day, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord comes cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Zephaniah 1 and 18. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance, riddance of all them that dwell in the land. And Isaiah 13 and 13. Therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. So there's two earthquakes you need to, of great shaking you have to worry about. The day of God's wrath and in the day of his fierce anger. Those are two different days, people of God. You see, he broke it up. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth, remove the, the earth shall remove out of her place in the day of the the day, the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. Two different days, you're going to have two huge earthquakes. Ezekiel 7 and 2, remember it said what the prophet Ezekiel said. So, the time has come, the day draws near, let not the buyer rejoice nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon the all the multitude thereof. And he wants me to read the scriptures that the righteous is going to be preserved as I read before. But there's a little bit more in depth. Um, Job 21 and 30. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. So the day of wrath. The day of destruction. We went through different days of God. Days of his fierce anger. Days of his wrath. Days of recompense. Days of tribulation. This is about his wrath. Zephaniah 1 and 15. The day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wastedness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of uh, uh, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Didn't he say that in a different scripture that I read already, that it's going to be a day of darkness? The land shall be desolate. Um, you can go back and rewind and you'll see it. So you're going to see that it's a day of darkness and gloominess and a day of clouds and thick darkness. That's the day of God's wrath and it's going to be a lot of devouring fire. Now Isaiah 30 and 30, And the Lord shall cause his glorious verse to be, voice to be heard and shall show the lightning down of his arm with the indignation of his anger and with the flame of devouring fire with scattering and tempests and hailstones. Um, Isaiah 30 and 27, Behold, the name of the Lord comes from far, burning with his anger, and the burden thereof is heavy. His lips are full of indignation, and his tongue as a devouring fire. Now Isaiah 29 and 6, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, with earthquake. You remember he said the, great, the earthquake on his day of wrath? And great noise with storm and tempest, and with the flame of devouring fire. Isaiah 64 and 2, as when the f melting fire burneth, 
The fire caused the waters to boil to make thy name known to thy adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. Job 20 and 28. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. So all the people's goods in their house is going to flow away in the day of God's wrath. Now, this, this is for the righteous. Psalms 37 and 34. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. You're going to see all these burnings and devouring fires of God, people. Only with thy eyes. Psalms 91 and 8. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Isaiah 3 and 11. What is the reward of the wicked? Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. Proverbs 29 and 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increase, but the righteous shall see their fall. So God's telling you, righteous people, you're going to see their fall. And righteous people, only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked and it's woe on to the wicked it's going to be ill with them now psalms 92 and 11 my eyes shall shall see my desire on my enemies and my ears shall hear my desire on upon the wicked that rise up against me so all those wicked people who's been rising up against you righteous people you're going to see your desires upon them and you're going to hear about the wicked who rose up against you that's what God wants you to know. He's going to avenge you. Psalms 37 and 10. For yet a little while and the wicked shall not be. He wants you to know. Yeah. Thou shalt diligently consider his place and it shall not be. Isaiah 26 and 11. Lord, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see. So no, they're not going to see when God shows his arm. But they shall see and be ashamed for their envy at the people. Yeah, the fire of thy enemies shall devour them. Okay, people of God. So you had to know this is what God is doing with his fire. And the horror of Babylon. And the church is going to fall. And the people are going to burn the stubble. And that they should be repenting. And we'll go back up. And every nation which shall war against thee, O house of Israel, shall be turned one against another, and they shall fall into the pit which they dig to ensnare the people of the Lord. And all that fight against Shine shall be destroyed. And the great whore who has perverted the right ways of the Lord, yeah, that great and abominable church shall tumble to the dust, and great shall be the fall of it. For behold, says the prophet, the time comes speedily that Satan shall have no more power over the hearts of the children of men. For the day soon comes that all the proud and all that do wickedly shall be as stubble, and the day that comes that they must be burnt. For the time soon comes that the fullness of the wrath of God, so we keep talking, this is God's wrath. We're understanding this is about God's wrath, that in the day of the wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of waste and a day of desolation, day of darkness and of gloominess and of thick darkness, Okay, God's wrath. The time comes, the day draws near. God's wrath. His fierce. Therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and the day of his fierce anger. So this is about God's wrath. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them from the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make it even a speedy riddance of all of them that dwell in the land. Um, behold, the day of the Lord comes cruel both with wrath and fierce anger. To lay the land desolate and they shall destroy the sinners out. And God shall destroy the sinners out of it. Revelation 6 and 17. For the great day of his wrath is come. And who shall, who shall be able to stand? Now... For the time soon comes that the fullness of the wrath of God shall be poured out upon all the children of men. For he will not suffer that the wicked shall destroy the righteous. Wherefore, God is going to preserve the righteous. He will preserve the righteous by his power. Even if it so be that the fullness of his wrath must come. And the righteous be preserved even unto the destruction of 
of their enemies by fire. Wherefore the righteous need not fear. Don't fear righteous people, for thus does the prophet. They shall be saved, even if it even if it so be as by fire. Behold, my brethren, I say unto you that these things must shortly come, yet even blood and fire and vapor of smoke must come, and it must need be upon the face of this earth, and it comes unto men according to the flesh, if it so be that they will harden their hearts against the Holy One of Israel. Now, the, the great whore, he's talking about desolate. Let's remember this great whore. Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beasts, these shall hate the whore, and they shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Now, I want you to know that those who fight against daughter Zion, this is the plague God's going to plague them. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Remember, daughter of Zion is New Jerusalem. Heziba, not no more termed forsaken. Her land is married. All them who fight against Zion, New Jerusalem, Jerusalem, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. That's what God's going to plague them with, a fire plague, because of the whore. And the great and abominable church, which is the whore of all the earth, shall be cast down by devouring fire, according as it is spoken by the mouth of Ezekiel the prophet, who spoke of these things which have not come to pass, but surely must as I live. For the abomin for abomination shall not reign. Okay, beautiful people of God, and that they're gonna be fuel for their fire. Isaiah nine and nineteen. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened, and the people shall be as fuel of the fire. No man shall spare his brother. Remember, it says it's gonna be a dark day, right? It's going to be devoured by fire, the day of God's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by fire of his jealousy. For he shall make an even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. And let's go where it's going to be dark. Um, Sephaniah 1 of 15. That the day is a day of wrath and a day of trouble and distress and a day of wastiness and desolation and a day of darkness and gloominess and a day of... And a, day of clouds and thick darkness. So I just wanted to cross-reference everything so you get a great understanding of God's wrath and that these people are going to be burned to stubble, but he is going to preserve the righteous even if he has to burn their enemies by fire. And for behold, the righteous shall not perish, for the time surely must come that all who fight against Zion shall be cut off. Um, and what is the plague? He's going to plague the people who fight against daughter Zion. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people who have fought against Jerusalem. Remember, she's new Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. That's why he told you don't fight against his people. And the people who fight against the children of Israel children of Judah, they're going to fall into the pit which they dig to ensnare the people of the Lord. And all that fight against Zion shall be destroyed. And that great whore, who, who is daughter Zion fighting against the great whore? I hope this helps you. And please take this up with fasting and praying. And please get your house in order. Stay blessed.